This lesson is called Counting by Tens to 120. We're going to use a number chart to count by tens, and our number chart starts with 1 and goes all the way to 120. Now if you look in the very first column, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line down here while I read the numbers, we see that all of the digits end in 1. We start with 1, then we go to 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101, 111. If you start with the number 2 and you look down the column, you see that all of those numbers digit ends in a 2. If you start with a 3 and go down, they all end in a 3. If you start with the number 4 and go down, they all end with a 4. If you start with 5 and go down, they all end in a 5. These all end in a 6. These all end in a 7. These all end in an 8. These all end in a 9. And these numbers, starting with 10, all end in a 0. This is going to be very important to us when we count by tens because every time you count by ten, you go down to the next row. Let's take a look at how this works. Say we wanted to start at the number 20 and we wanted to count by tens. Well, we find our number 20 right here. And remember I said we were going to go down to the next row. If we jump down 1 to 30, we just counted by 10. So after 20 would come 30. If we jump down again, we just added 10 again. Now we're at 40. If we jump down again, we just added 10 and we're at 50. If we jump down again, now we're at 60. And if we jump down again, we just added 10 and we're at 70. Let's look at another number that we can start with. Let's start with the number 4 this time. Here's our starting point, and we're going to add 10 each time. We jump down, we're at 14. Jump down again, now we're at 24. Notice that all of these numbers end in 4. Every time we add 10, the tens place goes up one, but the ones place stays the same. We go to 34, now we're at 44. And if we want to add 10 more, now we're at 54. Let's look at another starting point. Let's start at 51 this time. Here's 51. Let's add 10. Remember, we go down to the next row. Now we're at 61. Notice the 1 is the same, but the 5 changed to a 6 because we've jumped up 10. We go up again. We're at 71. We jump again 10. We're at 81. We jump again. We're at 91. 10 more. We stop at 101. Let's start with 66. So find 66. Let's add 10 each time. Go down to the number right below the 66. So that would be 76. Jump down 10 again. That would be 86. Jump down again. 10. We get 96. Notice they all end in 6, but the 10's digit has changed up 1. Then we get to 106, and finally, when we add 10 more, we stop at 116. Let's start with one more number. Let's start with 38. Let's find 38. We jump down 1, we get to 48. We jump down 10 more, we're at 58. We jump down 10 more, we're at 68. 
we jump down again and add 10 and we're at 78 and we jump down again add 10 and we're at 88. That concludes our lesson today on counting by tens to 120.